what's up it's Chanel welcome to a new episode of vital vinyl vlog today we're going to be listening to the ominous circle the appalling ascension this is so fucking good you can get it on 20 bucks spin osmos productions some of the best death metal i've heard since blood incantation star spawn last year but this is going to be awesome albums part two Today, I'm going to be talking about Dark Thrones 1994 black metal classic, Transylvanian Hunger, on Peaceville Records. This is their 30th anniversary, so happy birthday, Peaceville. A little uh, tidbit of info. Peaceville is like reissuing everything. Like, everything. Unlike Earache, where you have to have a certain amount of people have interest in the release before they even release these classic records it makes no to me that makes no fucking sense but whatever I, I don't I don't know but the best thing about this is and the reason I'm really bringing it up is because one of my holy grails is on here they're gothin fucking stream from the heavens man it will be in my hands someday soon but Let's get back to the subject at hand, and that is the ever so cold, ever so fucking grim Transylvanian hunger. From the iconic picture of Fenris on the cover to just the controversy that followed this record, there's so much to talk about to where I've tried making this video for the past three hours going off of facts, but you know what? That's boring. It seriously is. I was wondering why I couldn't even make it through like like five minutes. I was like, what the fuck? Like, like, like what is going on today? Like, I'm totally like off my mojo or something. And it just turned out I was like going off of like all these notes and like trying to just, you know, be a little more like official because this album really means that much to me on a personal level. So, why not actually talk about why Transylvanian Hunger is important in my life and why it's a fucking classic second wave black metal album. Like, everything about it to me is what black metal should sound like. From the production, like, you might disagree with me. I mean, this is some of the, like, it's like the blueprint of, you know, that dude that only makes 10 demos of his band's amazing black metal act in his basement, gives them out to his friends, and that's it. Like, the production's something along those lines, like, that people nowadays try to do, and even try too hard to do, is just captured so perfectly by the actual first black metal album by Dark Throne. Now, you can disagree with me all you fucking want, but they've even said it, that A Blaze in the Northern Sky was not true black metal. This was the first true black metal record from Dark Throne. See, so it is a black metal record, it's just I'm stoned right now, and don't make videos when you're stoned. I thought that would also help the process. It's not, I'm just lit and enjoying the ominous circle killing it behind me but I just have so much like legit love for this album like it is a piece of art like that to me that like I, w I would love to get two copies of this and get one even if I can just get a poster actually but the reason I, I want two copies of this and I would like to get it framed is because of the vinyl itself and I'm very happy about this. Like, this reissue, 180 gram, but this. Holy, it just, I don't know. It fucking made the hair on the back of my neck, like, stick up when I saw it. I was just like, that's so fucking dope. Like, I don't know. I just got so excited when I saw it. Like, I would love to have, you know, if I could get, like, Fenris to sign like that and have it like you know alongside this or like nocturnal cult to 
Holy fuck, like I would be so stoked, but I don't know. I'm sure Fenris would like do something like that. I don't I think like Nocturna Cult who is like hard to get a hold of or something, or he's like a teacher. I forget. I heard I always hear crazy stuff about the dudes in Dark Throne. But pretty much let's just talk about how fucking good Transylvania Hunger is. And why I don't it doesn't need a review. Like everybody knows Transylvanian Hunger and everyone knows it's a classic. It's fucking essential. But there's people out there I know that they don't get it. They don't understand the raw production, the, you know, the fuck you to what death metal was at the time. Because as much as I love Autopsy and stuff in hell, they, they all still love Autopsy. Everyone loves Autopsy. If you don't, fuck you. Not really, but <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you're, if you don't like Autopsy, I'm not sure why you're here right now watching this video, really. Because... There's just, uh, just you can watch part one of awesome albums to hear about why Autopsy is the fucking shit. But let's get back to fucking Transylvania Hunger because I keep getting off topic. That's why you don't smoke before you fucking make videos. But I want to talk a little bit about again my per my personal connection with this record. Um, driving in Western Pennsylvania about you know in two like probably winter 2004 and like listening to this all my friends like uh you know cd player in the car i'm from the philadelphia suburbs i'm from the complete other side of the state and uh seeing like you know all like being in the mountains and nature and having this blasting it really, really hit me fucking hard. Like, I, it sounds corny, but like I can't explain it. Like, it really just like, it clicked. Like, I liked it before, don't get me wrong, but all of a sudden, like, it made me feel something that like, you know, up at that point in time, black metal hadn't really done to me. Like, I liked black metal, but I didn't love it yet. Like... I, you know, was listening to, like, a lot of dissection and stuff like that, and I remember getting a copy of Satyricon's Nemesis Davidia because Nocturne Occult 2 from Dark Throne does vocals on that record. And it's also the only Satyricon record I like, but <laughs> Mother North was playing, and there's that one real epic grim part, like, in the middle of the song, and... Again, I was in the same, like, general area of, uh, like, outside of Pittsburgh in the suburbs. And it just hit me so hard, like, and, like, on an emotional level. And I didn't know black metal could really do that until those, those two records. And, you know, it's awesome that, you know, music can make you feel something like that, like, a lot of death metal, like, it's just so fucking badass, it just puts a smile on your face. But there's, like, those certain bands that, like, really, really just make you fucking so stoked that you know about this type of music. And that it's, like, underground, and, like, it's kind of, like, yours, in a way. And it's one of the reasons I like making these videos, like... You know, there might be some people that don't know, like, they don't know why this is an awesome album and, like, why it's fucking essential for its genre and whatnot. Because, like, in the grand scheme of extreme metal, you could think this is total garbage if you're just, like, a grind and, like, death metal fanatic. Like, if that's all, all you listen to, Dark Throne is probably not up your alley at all. Like, and that's obvious. But, like, this album is just to me it's very important like it really got me into diving deeper into like shit with lo-fi production and like that it started not to bother me like i remember like hearing like you know like, like death metal bands do it and loving it like loving the way it sounded i thought it sounded heavier because it had like that wet blanket sound like on a 
incantations all were to Golgotha, like, it really, like, like, I used to call it wet blanket death metal, like, even, like, early suffocation, like, Human Waste EP, Effigy of the Forgotten, that's the shit right there, that's my favorite suffocation error, but my favorite suffocation album is Pierced From Within. It's very confusing. One day I'll get into that. But for now, let's just fucking take a quick little look inside. Varg from Burzum wrote four songs, lyrics, for four tracks. Transylvania Hunger was recorded in November and December 1993. Mostly all the songs are in Norwegian. And are not, uh fucking uh translated but transylvanian hunger cold cold the mountains are cold soul cold it's so fucking good man hail to the true intense vampires a story made for divine for full, uh, fulfillment so pure evil cold transylvanian hunger but Supposedly, there's like a hidden message on the one song. It tells you to burn down a church or something. It's like, watch as the church is burned. Uh, I don't know. This is just killer stuff. I just find it funny, though, that they used to be like a death metal band. And they ruled at playing death metal. Like, Soulside Journey is awesome autopsy worship. Like, I mean, Fenris is even wearing an autopsy shirt in the fucking band photo. That's a great album, and I, I need to pick that up as well. That's one of my favorite Dark Throne albums, and along with uh, even like uh, Fuck Off and Die, uh, just when they weren't doing the, the black metal thing anymore, that's one of my favorite, like along with like uh, The Cold is Alive, like all that stuff. I always liked, I liked those records, like starting at like Sardonic Wrath, like from there on, like I remember just Everything Dark Throne put out, I was like obsessed with, like to like fanboy status. Like, definitely paid forty dollars for a Sardonic Wrath T-shirt. But Transylvanian Hunger, man, just some of the best black metal ever recorded. And you know, you can disagree, you can agree, but. The fact remains that this is forever and will forever be a second gen black metal, whatever wave, whatever term you want to use. I like the, the term wave, second wave, Norwegian black metal. This is as good as it gets. Like, disagree all you want. You could say, oh, Burzum self-titled or uh, fucking... You know, you can go with Satyricon Nemesis to Vidya. There's Emperor in the Nightside Eclipse. There's so much you can really choose from. But I just... The charm of this has never worn off on me. And it's an album I'll listen to until the day I die. And that's what makes it an awesome album. Thanks for watching. I know this wasn't the most, you know, informative video on Transylvanian Hunger, but... It's how I really feel about it. It's an amazing fucking album. And yeah, if you haven't heard it, just get on that shit. And check out the Ominous Circle. For real. This is so fucking good. And I'll just throw up, a, just in case nobody grabbed it yesterday. This is the Nails Full Hell Split. Alright, so... You were listening to The Ominous Circle, and uh, your guys' homework is to at least listen to Transylvanian Hunger Today by Dark Throne, released by Peaceville Records. Thanks for watching. Hails.